So this is interactive Robogami. You can see that there's a workspace in the middle where people can design their own robot. There's a database of parts over here that people can click and drag into the screen so that they can see what that 3D shape is going to look like. And they can scale these parts so that the geometry is customized to what they want their robot to look like. Origami robots are robots that you fabricate as 2D sheets and then fold into their 3D form. So the idea is that we want to make the fabrication process much faster. Origami robots are really useful when we want to have compact storage and compact transport because you can fold your robot to a compact shape or unfold it into its flat form and be able to transport it to other places with minimal packaging. They're also useful in situations where you want rapidly deployable robots. So if you want to very quickly deploy a swarm for search and rescue operations, for example. We're really looking at design of an entire robot. In general, rapid fabrication technologies have become very widespread, so 3D printing is available to the general public, but there's not really a corresponding growth in design tools. And when you add in that robots have electronic components and software components, well, it just becomes much more difficult to design a robot. And so the main goal behind our research is that we want to be able to get people who are not expert robotics engineers to design their own robots. And in order to do that, we encode a lot of the engineering methodology into the algorithms in our design tools. So now I'm gonna add some wheels to the body to make this a more interesting looking design. And as I do that, the system makes sure that all geometric constraints are satisfied so these legs and these wheels don't collide with each other. People can really interact just on the 3D robot, look at its motion, figure out what they want the robot to do, and the software will automatically create the fabrication plan, it'll tell them how to assemble it, and they don't need the engineering background in order to create those plans themselves. We're envisioning a future where robotics are going to be deeply integrated into society. And this sort of research allows people to customize those robots to their own needs. So instead of relying on mass-produced robots that serve only particular purposes, these sorts of systems allow people to make sure that the tools that they're using are particular to their specific applications.